bonus with face, pat, and tiz. After the good fuck, we're gonna take the right to face on the screen, baby, because I, I, I want to get this out. And I just love that segment. So let's go face on the screen, man. This week we talking face. top five. Face the screen. Top five, top five most overrated and top five most underrated 90s sitcoms. Let's go top five most underrated. Um, first we're talking rock, R O C mm. starring Charles Dutton. Great ass series. I don't even know how many um seasons that they have. I think I think they had at least seven series. Seven. Joey. Seasons. It, 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 exactly. Great ass. Joey great always movie. had a split lip for some reason. Yep. Couldn't have earned their money on their rent. Couldn't have paid Rock back. They'd be mm-hmm. going to get in trouble. A lot of good star guest stars. In Vogue was on there. Um, Tone Loke was on there. Jamie Foxx was on there. A lot of good people on there. Um, next one, one on one starring Flex. Um, and Gonna Pray. Great, okay, show, that's solid. Great, show. very underrated. Next show, Moesha. Surprisingly, it's an underrated show, man. Moesha. It spawned, it spawned another show, but the other show it spawned was some fucking. Uh, we'll get into that one. We'll get into that. Moesha is an underrated show, man. Um, it's a spin off show. I know, baby, gotta love me. Oh, dinosaurs was my that was I watched that show every when Friday. I hit my daddy with the frying pan. Bong. Yeah. And the last one on my <laughs> underrated list is Sparks, man. Um, with John, what is it, John Avery? Um, the Jay Lawyer Tyler. Show, Uncle Phil. Yes, yes, the Lawyer Show. I remember that. Yeah. Well, Sparks. Miguel Nunez, Sparks. the shoplifter. Yes. Yeah. Joanna yeah. Man. Yeah. I remember yeah. that show. He's the wild and bright ass Steve Harvey suits. That should have a lot of potential, but it didn't get the, the rays it needed. Now, mm. with these fuck ass overrated shows, number one, Friends. <laughs> Who? Friends? Friends. You mean Fucking White Living Single? Yes. 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 yes, yes. Number two, The Parkers. Hate that fucking show. That show's annoying to me. What rated this shit? Professor Oak will be. I can, I can roll with so you on that one. So bad. I'm not a big to Parker's me. fan like this. So I will say this. And and all dudes that were 16 to 19 when that show came out is going to understand. Six. <laughs> face, face, say it all. He understands. I won't overrate it. But moving on, I understand. Mm-hmm. Next show, the Steve Harvey show. Mm. Overrated. Overrated. Not funny. I- I'm biased. I really like that show. Mm-mm. Steve Harvey show is an overrated. Because the Cedric the under- Entertainer was hilarious on that damn show. Cedric the Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> That and I know you want some pig feet, but I refuse oh God. to let them go. If I have to beg and plead for some poking beats, I don't mind because you mean that much to me. Ain't too bright to beg, you know. Please don't leave me, girl. This nigga can't ain't too proud to pee. No, that was my shit right there, man. I'm damn, I know you want them pig feet, but. I like right. Cedric and Lamita. Yeah, Cedric, Cedric, Cedric Pooh. But Cedric Bear, whatever the fuck she was calling him, Cedric. Lamita yeah, was hilarious. The show was based around Cedric. It was a good show, but the show was based off Steve Harvey or Steve Hightower on the show. It was, it was not a good show as much. As, very overrated to me, man. Next show, Eve. How high is it rated? It's overrated. You're saying show. it's overrated. Do people really rate Steve Harvey's show like that high? Huh. For it to be overrated, like, like I don't be hearing like people this. like, "Oh man, this is one of the top sitcoms of the nineties." 
It's overrated. It ain't funny as shit. It ain't funny for shit to me. Uh, but you think it's it overall bad. a bad show, period. <laughs> Mm, Which is why you're saying it's overrated, is, is what you're saying. Mm. Okay. All right. Uh, as always on face the screen, the words of face does not reflect everybody else. But I get it. That damn right. This is my opinion. You know, for the most part, it's my opinion. If you got a comment, because <clears throat> I comment back to you, we can discuss these items on the screen. Now, like I said, Eve. Mm -mm. Yeah. 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 I'll roll with you on the Eve. I don't even remember an episode of Eve. It wasn't much to remember. Exactly. You didn't miss anything. You I, I just them. looked at it and it just looked like it just looked like living single with Eve in it to me. Close. With, you know, Close and worse. With, with no other uh like or um what's the other one? E version of girlfriends. Closer and worse. Mm -hmm. That's that's Glad what it. So I, I can't remember. Now girlfriends was a good damn show. Yeah, that was a good show. Oh, your girlfriend was my shit. But overrated up top overrated fan show of the nineties. Fucking family matters. You ain't like family matters? What? Uh, I, oh, I would say yeah. so. I, I, I can't roll with you there. You know I can't roll with you there. That's my shit. I hate that show. One, two, one. Yo, <laughs> three, two, one. What? One, one two, two, three. Two. What the heck is bothering me? You, Steve! It's you! Oh man, that is the most epic blow up ever on television, man. That show carried me through a lot. Like, I will say this. The first two to four seasons is not overrated. Anything past though, it did get a little weird when they started to grow up and then they was in space or some weird shit. Like, I feel you. Like it started, it, it jumped the shark. Mm -hmm. Once I feel like once they brought in Stefan or Kale, it jumped the shark because then it became too much about like Steve transforming into the next character as opposed to like the actual dynamic yeah. of the characters on the show. Like the grandma started to get less uh to time, and she was one of the best parts of the first parts. Of, like I feel like the first few seasons was good and then it fell off. So I can definitely give mm -hmm. you if you're talking about later on, especially, but the first few seasons was solid. I forgot to mention another underrated show. It's the late 80s, 90s, but I must still put in the 90s, A Different World. That is one of my You're favorite shows. You're saying it's overrated? No, under. Okay, okay. Under. Okay, so these are underrated. <laughs> under. So Family Matters is underrated. No, fuck that. Family Matters was overrated. I said I forgot to mention an underrated Okay. Underrated, definitely a uh, different Dope. world. Different world is the reason I went to have it. The entire, yes, yeah, literally very, the very, only very reason. Uh -huh. It's because they had the real pit and I was like, oh, I'm going. I just wanted to go to college. I was like, you know, I like this. Uh -huh. Different world definitely, definitely inspired me. That's like one of my favorite shows of all time. Like, I feel like that's the reason our generation went to college. It is. And, and it unmasked. Is. One. Like, <clears throat> even if you didn't finish, I feel like that's why you went. Like that was a big sparking point for a lot of people to be like, all right, yeah, I can rock that, this. That it was cool. visible to you. Like it, if you Yeah, know, yeah if you, you ain't know what really it. went what went on at college before that. You you was just yeah. like uh, I know people go there, but like, the fuck do I the really want to go there for? Like, I know I, I get the long term, <laughs> but like, what's in it for me while I'm there? And then you saw a different world. It was like, oh, all right, that look cool. You hang out in the dorm and you get parties and you go to class, but you get homecoming shit and oh, you can join fraternities and be stepping and shit. And these niggas get to like eat French fries and shit for what? Like yeah. as a as a as a. 11 as a nine year old kid, eight year old kid, that's an amazing selling point. Like these niggas is eating fucking chicken tenders every day and shit. 
Like the next thing, and, and, and that's and that's, that's cool. Like ain't nobody saying nothing. Like ain't no mommy or daddy there. Or not. Oh, this is amazing. I'm doing that. Yeah. Then them niggas had Chris Cross go to college. Nigga, you couldn't tell me shit. I was definitely going. What niggas? Chris Cross was there with Dwayne Wayne. I'm going. But in Jada, Dwayne Wayne. Oh, I got some of them glasses that flipped nigga, up. Them, back nigga, to this day, them oh, glasses cool. some of the coolest shit to me. And I know they corny as hell now, but I love them glasses. Not, no, I've seen. I've seen I'm going to buy like, me a pair, like just because. And they going I want them to look corny as fuck, but I'm going to pop them shits up and wear them fucked up just so I can. Yup. You know, know who people. I'm repping. Dwayne Wayne. You see him. But I said different world was cool because you get to, it was a sitcom, so you get to see it every day. It was reinforced in your head every day with with yeah. other stuff. Like the only time you really see like black kids in colleges with like the movies, like school days and and mm-hmm. like house party and stuff like that. And you only see those every once in a while. Hopefully, if you got cable, pretty much. But different world, that was like an everyday thing almost you know or at least at first it was like you know once a day and then after a while it was like you know with the sick with the what's that called um with the reruns and stuff it'll, you you'll see like the old season during the week and then like a new episode on friday or something like when it came out or something like that but yeah that was pretty much saying it with that that it reinforced it a lot more yeah um, I also said the only thing about Different World I did not like is the fact that Whitley made the 804 look like it was some bougie-ass paradise talking about she was from Richmond. And she did not represent the average person from Richmond, Petersburg, Chesterfield, or any of the surrounding counties and or cities. Um, The 804 is a very different place than what she depicted. And that that always frustrated me because I feel like it made people outside of 804 think that that was what it was. I was thinking DC. Oh, champ, it ain't no, hey, Dwayne. No, it ain't none of that shit. The average girl from the 804 did not speak like that when I was growing up. I did not see that reality. I did not and, realize I'm talking about that not on a was... field trip, not when we went somewhere else and saw other schools. Like, it was, nope. All of the girls pretty much looked and acted, yep, that's about the same. <laughs> hi, Dwayne. <laughs> no, ain't no hey, Dwayne. <clears throat> it's a broad name, Tyrese, with a sock on her ponytail. <laughs> the shit, man. Mm-hmm. I, Nigga, Random no, question. Nigga, I was I grew up in the 804 in the 90s. Hell no, nigga. Crack had done his job in the early 80s, in the 80s, in the, in the uh late 80s. Like, no, by the 90s, no, buddy. It won't no hey Dwayne's nowhere. Mm-mm. That bitch came down from Nova. She was from Alexandria or Woodbridge or somewhere up there in Northern Virginia. Potomac. That's what I was thinking. She was from Potomac. She won't from no 804 channel. Me. No, sir, read Bobby. That won't my area code looking like that. <laughs> hey, Dwayne. No, Dwayne. No, no, man. No, sir, read Bobby. <laughs> she made what? it for look like it was soft, he soft. No, sir. No, sir. Y'all got. Y'all got you any rolled like, up across a Whitley from the 804 in the 90s. It won't no hey Dwayne. It was Dwayne. The fuck you talking about, shop? <laughs> it won't no, it won't, it won't no hey Dwayne's. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh man. Hey, do y'all got any like guilty pleasure sitcoms? Like sitcoms that everybody think is trash but you like it. Home boys from outer space. I was about to say the same. <laughs> yeah, I like that shit. That was my show, but, man. Everybody this, this thinks this that shit is trash, but I definitely did like this it. I talk shit about this show, but still like to watch it. Yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. I had do different world up there. Um Dwayne yep. Wayne friend, the light skinned dude. Ron. Yeah, Ron. Reflex. Yep. It was a good show. Man, was underrated. Like, That's a, talking about underrated. It was bad CGI, even for the mm-hmm. times. But the overall, like 
show as far as entertainment value on horror. It was just like mm-hmm. bad writing and stuff, but like them as actors, like they pulled this shit off and made it like come together as a funny shit. Yeah, they did a good duo. They did a good duo. I'm gonna tell you that. another underrated show. I don't remember the mm-hmm. name of it, but it was uh, the jump with Dougie Duck, and he had like a little sister, and him and his little sister was always arguing. Yeah. And they had a dad that was like a cab driver. He was be Douglas. Oh, Douglas. I know what you're talking about too. What was it called? Yeah. No, that's yeah, like do 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 do. No, no, that's that's the cartoon. No, no. Oh, the name of that show was called Doug. Too. Oh, I'm about to look them up. Yeah, like, oh Doug. shit! All right, Doug, well, yeah, that show, that show was under no, too. I know what you're talking right. about. It's um, because I I was just watching a couple of the um episodes not so long ago. They got this shit on YouTube. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. The dad was like a taxi driver or some shit. The flex was in there too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Is this yep. movies? I need a TV show. What um like what year it came out? Man, I don't know. That shit was late was 80s, 90s. early 90s, bro. I was a kid, kid. Where I, I live. I, I didn't know I didn't know face yet. That's how young I was. I had not met face yet. It has to be this show, Where I Live. Probably. Yep. This yeah. is Flex Alexander in it. Yep. Dougie Doug, yeah. Yeah. It was a good Boy. show. Like everybody in it was a solid actor or actress. Like the mom and dad was good, the sister was good, Dougie Doug and Flex was good as like a buddy duo. Like mm-hmm. the neighborhood crew was like it was just a solid show that a lot of people just I feel like it just didn't get the promo it needed or something. But it was on a uh, TGIF or ABC. Yeah, for a quick second. Yeah. Well, that's all Dougie Doug. Dougie Doug was on that movie Class Act. Yeah, I love that. I don't. I don't think Face with Swimmies is underrated, but I do got another underrated if he don't say it. Who that we ain't said yet? What? Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. I, yeah, that was a good. One. Very, very underrated. That's a very solid underrated. ass. That's a solid ass sitcom right there, yo. Coop, Coop was a G. You know. You know what? I, that was such a good show that I feel like there was a lot of copycats because I feel like In the House was the copycat of hanging with Mr. Cooper to me. Like with, I um, with LL I, and... I'm going to be honest, man. Carlton. I, and I know I put him on the on the list, but I, I don't really care for him as a rapper or uh, an actor. Who, LL Cool J? Yeah. Oh. I, I don't like him oh. as either. Oh, well, since I'm in good company, I, I don't like LL Cool J. <laughs> oh, this will make voting for him easy. Oh, nah, I give him <laughs> respect for all his, his... I don't care who he going against. This nigga's going down. I, I give him I respect I can't think of nobody that I, that I like <laughs> less than him. Nope. You know He's about bottom of my barrel. I, I could care. I I don't care about no deepest bluest that had his shock for only thing he can do for me is give me the you're doing it, you're doing it, doing it well. Even then, I don't like his verses. I just like the hook and the jump. Uh, uh, what's the jump? Because you're like a jelly bean. <laughs> no, hell, hell the fuck no. It's the jump. He is like, uh, let me smile no, 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 today. No, 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 Everything but his verses. First, I like yeah. the no, no. That's my shit. <laughs> and then after that, up, oh, skip. Mama say knock you out is like no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. He could have knocked himself out with that microphone right then. I'm good. That's it. Mama should have knocked his ass I've, out before he went to the studio and put that bullshit but, on there. I've, that that I straight know. basura. But that God of my it just seems corny to make sure. I don't. Dead. I don't want to win the battle. Of him or cannabis. cannabis. So who won him? Or cannabis. 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 His fame. His fame made people gas that bullshit ass ripper shit. Man, I, cannabis <laughs> smoked his boots. Yes, smoked his entire boots. Running in the sand. Them shits but is was- still steaming in the middle of whatever that ring was he had back then. Whatever uh, he is, this shit is still steaming. And Cannabis' say, verse on three, two, one, the original version was still better than that bullshit he spit. Mm-hmm. You don't want to borrow that. You want to add a lap. Nigga, shut up. Shut the fuck up and go take your steroids, sir. 
Lick your uh-huh. lips, take your steroids, and shut the fuck up with your small head. Even when rappers like give him his accolades, fuck I feel like here, they feel like they have to say it because I of politics him. or whatever. But he annoy me. He annoys the heck out of me. Fuck out of you. Deep is blue as my head is like a shark shit. <laughs> deep is blue as my head is like a They should have left his ass in the deepest, bluest part and drowned the fuck out of him. I know it's that's horrible wrong. to say, but I could have done. I could do without LL. It's wrong. It's been it so good it's since he's been quiet in his old age. I'm so glad he's just shut the fuck up and went on you out. You know one thing about LL that all black actors should take from him? He has never died in no movie. Of course not. His little small oh. head ass ego won't That's let him. That's his brand. <laughs> no, you won't kill me. I gotta lick my lips in the last scene. He got a um. He got honored at the um. The rock and make roll. Make sure my ha- make sure my hat doesn't come off. You know my head is shaped real funny. Yeah, he always wearing a hat. Should look or like a, a shark hat. fan for real. Mm-hmm. Dorsal head ass. And he did that blasphemy to a Timberland beat. <laughs> nigga, dorsal head as fuck. He did that blasphemy to that Timberland beat, headstrong. You see that nigga swimming at you from the other end of the pool at a hotel or something? Hey, y'all, I'm LL. Find an emo. <clears throat> okay, look, I, I can see this day crackling. Man, I'm not... <laughs> traffic cone here. Yeah, to be on the You know that that hook is the hook you have when you don't got nothing else. You can't think of nothing else. <laughs> you know what that? You know what that look is? That look is the look you have when you don't put your head into a pencil shop. Oh man, I will say that hook his head looked look like the shape of face hat, <laughs> but face can take that off. He is is like stuck. That's that's what he got. Right. He looked like he screws his uh, skull caps on. His mama did not mold his head right when she had him. She just squeezed him out and let it stay like that. Uh, you supposed He's to shape to that a little bit, mama. Supposed to shape that a little bit for us, and like that. You just push that out. That shit gonna be misshaped before saying you gotta mold that a little bit. That shit is that shit but is it, bullety. LL and petite G- at that. Like you big and swole with that little ass <laughs> head looking like a goomba off the Mario movie. Expect to see this nigga in the elevator. He about to Deep be a new Boo boo, the look, the style, the clothes, the web, boo boo. Boo-boo. Oh, boo boo, boo boo. This oh, his head LL, shaped baby. like a turtle action figure. You seen? You remember the Ninja Turtle action figures? Yeah, that's what his head shaped like. No, I seen he him talking about something about to get a head from. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, his head hurt all that week. <laughs> How do you do that to a Timberland beat, man? Timberland. That's the hook you had right, when you, man, old, you ran out of I'm ideas. Pissed off thinking about this fuck nigga. How do we well, get here? Like How do we get screen. here? Oh yeah, talking about his garbage ass show. Somewhere, <laughs> somewhere in America, LL Cool J's leg is freezing. <laughs> that working with this nigga turned Maya Campbell into a crackhead. Sad. Very mm. sad. <clears throat> Well, that's all I have for Face to Screen this week. Thanks for y'all for tuning in to Face to Screen. Tune in next week for some more screen. Indeed, indeed.